हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शोमैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टुडे आई विल डिस्कस सब्जेक्ट व्हिच इज गेटिंग पॉपुलर एवरीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड स्पेशली इन गल्फ कंट्री इन सऊदी अरेबिया दे आर इवन प्लानिंग टू रिप्लेस द मेटालिक पाइपलाइंस विद नॉन मेटालिक पाइपलाइंस देयर विल बी कपल ऑफ वीडियोज इन सीरीज but the first one will be the brief overview as i do always this is um, types of non metallic pipelines we will discuss specifically there are four types of big categories you can say for non metallic pipelines which is pvc cpvc hdp gre or grp rtr and rtp also included in this category we will discuss later and the last category is cement pipes let us start what are non metallic pipes non metallic materials are used in non critical services such as water drainage where operating pressure and temperature are less than process lines in this lecture i will give you an overview of these materials nowadays because of developed technology the non metallic pipelines i told you it is even have the power to replace the carbon steel or metallic pipelines the first category is pvc and cpvc pvc is polyvinyl chloride cpvc is chlorinated polyvinyl chloride higher strength and elevated temperature than pvc tough and exceptionally resistant to common chemical attack pvc and cpvc required to protect from ultraviolet exposure if installed outdoor start softening when subjected to high temperature pipes are manufactured by extrusion process fitting flanges and valves are manufactured by injection molding has many application in industries and in home water piping the second category is pe and hdpe hdp the full terms is high density polyethylene pipe high density polyethylene has many desirable quality over ldpe or pvc it has improved tensile strength improved low temperature brittleness it has higher softening points increased chemical resistance it is manufactured by extrusion process used in water distribution or low pressure natural gas services it is used as a lined material the third category is gre and grp apparently out of these four now the wider application falls into this category gre the full term is glass fiber reinforced epoxy it is used for industrial application as well offshore platform and water treatment plant excellent chemical and corrosion resistance manufactured using filament winding process grp is glass fiber reinforced plastic the applications are in water supply municipal industrial and agriculture purpose wastewater sewerage collection sea water transport the rtr and rtp since it is a big subject and main focus of our video i will discuss it separately now the final one is the cement pipe it can be reinforced or non reinforced concrete means reinforced are having some iron net or iron rebar structure inside these are reinforced and non reinforced means it is completely purely casted concrete pipes these are used in storm water and gravity services it is used in culvert and irrigation application check what are some specific terms which may unfamiliar with us we will discuss the differences and what those terms means what is frp versus grp versus gre FRP is general term of glass fiber reinforced composite materials that is the general term for glass fiber reinforced plastics which contains GRE and GRP FRP is composed of matrix materials and reinforced material due to the different matrix material some are called GRE and some are called GRP what are four types of FRP there are four main types of fibers commonly used in frp industry one is glass fiber carbon fiber neutral fiber and aramid each has their own advantages and applications frp grp gre and grv are abbreviation for specific types of rtr pipes depending on the resin system used in the manufacture of piping system 
RTRP is a composite material comprising of glass fiber reinforcement, thermosetting plastic resins and additives. So you can see in the picture the non-metallic pipes are made with different layers. Core layer or the carrier layer which carries the liquid or gas is resin rich liner which is a chemical barrier. Then immediately outer layer is corrosion barrier layer which chopped strand mat and the third one is structural layer which holds the form of the pipe which is filament wound and the outer layer protecting the pipe from outer abrasion and it has chemical added to protect the non-metallic pipe from ultraviolet ray coming from the sun. Is GRE and GRP the same? The main difference between GRE and GRP is the matrix material resin used for bonding the glass fiber. GRP pipes use isophthalic resin where GRE pipes use epoxy resin. It is used as a lining material in sewage effluent tanks because of its resistance to chemicals and corrosion. What is the difference between GRP and RTR? The reinforced thermosetting resin pipe RTRP is also known as GRP, glass reinforced plastic, or FRP, fiberglass reinforced plastic pipe. Due to its unique characteristic, it offers a range of advantages over the pipes that are made from traditional, currently used material. If the resin used in GRP is polyester, then it will be named as GRUP. Epoxy, vinyl ester, and polyester are the thermosetting resin. So, the other name of GRP is Reinforcement Thermosetting Resin Pipe or RTR also RTRP. I told you RTRP is reinforced thermosetting resin pipe. RTR is reinforced thermosetting resin. To conclude, GRE, GRVE and GRUP are different types of GRP and RTR is a different variation name of GRP. Now let us compare the advantages and disadvantages. Which one is better, HDPE or FRP? Compared to FRP product, HDPE products have poorer weather resistance and lower heat resistance. The heat resistance of high density polyethylene is 60 to 70 degrees centigrade, while the heat resistance of FRP is 100 to 120 degrees centigrade. Therefore, HDPE pipes cannot be used for hot water pipes. FRP is heavier than HDPE also. Which one is better, HDPE or GRP? HDP pipe has the advantage of having good elasticity compared to GRP pipes with the ability to bend easily. GRP pipes are brittle and not ductile. Which one is better, FRP or PVC? PVC can be recycled up to 7 times and has a lifespan of around 140 years. FRP is difficult to dispose and almost impossible to recycle. FRP is derived from polymers and monomers then often cannot be separated and returned to their individual elements. If you like my video, please don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Signing off, Showman.